got to say, really, the top story on InfoWars.com, we haven't even gotten to it yet, is Red Link. Its secret globalist treaty threatens Internet freedom. And notice that the, the, the Seattle Police Department came out and said, we're going to turn off this system that steals all your data, because it clearly is illegal. Just like the Google cars grabbing data were illegal. They're stealing your personal communications. And they're doing it from outside the telecom grid because that's t turned into Lawsuit City. So now they're doing this under Homeland Security uh, grants. This should be one of the top stories in the world. That indeed the documents got leaked. Indeed it was all true. They turned it off hours after we broke the story yesterday. And there is no media except one local TV station reporting on them turning it off. We break it. Drudge Report magnifies it out to everybody. DrudgeReport.com. But it doesn't matter if the mainstream media doesn't cover it. That's why they're dying. People know that a lot of the time they're not getting what's really going on. And folks, I'm not here differentiating myself from other media just so I get the audience. I would believe me. Believe me. I'm a humble man. I would much rather fix things, turn things around, do a show once a week. There's always tyranny to fight. But, you know, to, if we turn the corner, I would be hiking. I would be camping. I'd be traveling the world. I'd be uh, doing artwork. And I would be working, you know, one day a week uh, on radio or something or, or uh, you know, having an, uh, you know, uh, a painting website or something. That's what I like to do. I would love to be able to walk away from all this. Quite frankly, that's why I'm trying to find reporters and researchers and people that get it so I can build a media organization if we slow the new world order down enough to where I don't have to be here six, seven days a week because you're either totally into this and totally obsessed with it or you're not. I can't turn it off when I leave work. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop being informed. And that's where the frustration and the anger comes from is that this this stuff is totally real and history is happening and, and and i'm just some ragtag person and putting on my fight against it i'm having a big effect what would happen if all of these doctors and lawyers and establishment people who i know are smart who i know are informed what would happen if they decided to be leaders and not just sell out to the nearest new world order person they found I mean, these people will sell out their grandmother for a piece of silver. They'll sell out their whole family, their whole culture, just to feel trendy. And they'll go secure themselves in some country club area while the rest of the world melts down around them as if they're going to escape the meltdown of the world, as if their kids aren't going to be sucked in by the world, as if their wives and, and, and their husbands won't be sucked in by it. I mean, you will not get out of something like this that's being built. This is being built to tear families and humanity apart. The New World Order is built to do evil. The global system is built to attack justice. This, 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 this planetary tyranny is a technological terror that has been constructed, quote Darth Vader, to absolutely incinerate the human condition. And it's just because the globalists are into that, they like that, it's a power trip. And they lie, and so the technocracy, the technotronic age, Brzezinski, David Roggeviller, oh, it's going to make a utopia. It's going to create a living hell and is creating a living hell. The fruits of the New World Order are poverty, ignorance, betrayal, fraud, disease, dishonor, and of course, don't forget the big one, the fruits of the New World Order are death. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, uh, David Knight and Leanne McAdoo 
uh, InfoWars researchers and reporters are going to be in studio with us. They've been following with Kurt Nemo this story that's up on InfoWars.com. Secret globalist treaty threatens Internet freedom. WikiLeaks got it and released it. There was actually a bounty put out uh, by different Internet privacy groups and, and rights groups wanting to know uh, what it was uh, pertaining to because no government would release it. Uh, and now we have the treaty, 30,000 word document, just like we got the uh, Copenhagen Global Carbon Tax Treaty uh, information and it turned out to be authentic and we blew that wide open. Uh, this is just incredible. And again, that's why these governments are so arrogant right now is they, they've been bought and paid for by offshore interest. And right now, through deals with the EU, through deals with the Pacific Partnership, they are putting through stuff that makes SOPA and ACTA uh, look pale in significance. And that's why we have this next article from Wired Magazine. Our government has weaponized the Internet. Here's how they did it. Now, I've used this term for at least six, seven years, that we have a weaponized Internet taken over by the military-industrial complex globally that is designed to track, trace, and shut down free speech and then end net neutrality and charge you or even block you from being able to share any type of info they don't like, a.k.a. Facebook, Twitter, you know, blocking and banning people that talk about liberty issues, even tame stuff like, oh, I got kicked off Obamacare or, or I just lost my insurance or I couldn't sign up. Boom, your Twitter account's gone. And the message is sit down and shut up and take it so that uh, Wasserman Schultz, the head of the DNC can get up on CNN and go, nobody's been kicked off. It lowered cost. Obama, I, I, period. You'll never be taken off your plan. You'll keep your doctor. Boom. I never said that. And you're not going to be able to respond. You're going to sit there and you're going to take it. And the FCC's coming out and saying, we're going to censor the Internet, not just talk radio. The whole nine yards is happening right now. And that leads me to the big enchilada. On so many fronts, this is the big one. On so many fronts, this is the issue. Not just the NSA spy grid, not just the domestic rollout, but that the police in Seattle under DHS grants, and this is happening all over the country, by the way, put in illegal white box, cream box, spy grids that hack into your phone, track everything you're doing. Uh, they told the media last week, it's a police communication system, our own private internet Wi-Fi. But of course, it was then pointed out that it was tracking and logging everyone's location, their thousand last locations with the uh, GPS and then triangulating for cameras to follow people. We knew because the same system was put in in London five years ago and they had to remove it. And then it came out, we got a 100-plus page document leaked to us, confirmed, and that they were basically storing all your data, tracking you, breaking into your phone, and that they weren't even supposed to have turned it on yet until the city council gave an authorization. Turned out the city council didn't even know about it, they're saying, and it was turned on, and the police said, the police sergeant, the spokesman, is in our article, you can go read the quote there, he said that it was an accident when they tested it, when it went in last February, that it wasn't supposed to be turned on yet. It was an accident. They just forgot to turn it off. <laughs> I mean, the way they lied to us. But that's what you do to your enemy. I mean, that's what you do militarily. I mean, in Mars Attacks, the aliens land in Las Vegas, and they say, don't run, we are your friends, and the Earthlings stop. And then the aliens shoot them and then laugh and say, what idiots? And, of course, that's a play on the military tactic they found in World War I. You would say, stop, we're not assaulting, we're your friends, as the tanks rolled in, and then they, people would just drop their weapons and be bayoneted. At point, if you just said, I'm not assaulting, they, they would teach the Germans how to say in, 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 in English, I am your friend. The Germans were the first to do it. I'm here to help you. Friend! And then the, and, and then the Americans... And the French and the Brits were so, you know, uh, old-fashioned and friendly. They would say, oh, you're my friend. Or, ah, that's what they do. The government's your friend. Ah, we're not watching you. Ah. Just like at Waco, the tanks are smashing into it, setting the place on fire, the Bradley fighting vehicles. They got special forces behind it, you know, shooting and classic infantry maneuver. It's all on FLIR video. 
and they would say, we're your friends, come out, come out, come out. They had barbed wire wrapped around the front so they couldn't get out. They'd run them out the back, and you could see them on the flare footage shooting the men, women, and children. And then they'd run over them with tanks to get rid of the evidence and push them into the fire with bulldozers. And that's just a classic special forces operation. I mean, they sent Delta Force in, and Delta Force said on loudspeakers, come out, we're your friends. And then shot everybody with M16s when they came out. That's what you do. We're here. We're your friend. Come out. <laughs> Obama loves you. The system loves you. It's an accident that the healthcare site doesn't work. It's an accident that many people have 500, 600% rate increases on average, 250% increase. It's an all an accident that foreign mega banks that literally kill whole third world populations when they have them captive would want to hurt you. They just set up Foxconn factories with suicide nets and forced abortion and mobile execution vans and the communist China. Chinese are now running the UN the Human Rights Board. Why not have Kim Jong-un of North Korea do it? Why not resurrect Hitler's skull? You know, the Russians say they have a piece of it, and, and it can be the judge. They'll just have a skull up there, and Hitler will judge everyone at the peace, peace tribunal. I mean, this is just the otherworldliness, because what's happened is the elite are now not accountable, basically. They can do whatever they want. They have unlimited funding. They have robotics. They can build however many cheap widgets they want to surveil us. And they're rolling out the tanks, the armored vehicles, the police trained to attack us, the, the, the surveillance grids, the, the, the poison in the water. They're now announcing, you know what? They let us put poison in the water in the food. We're going to genetically engineer all the crops to basically sterilize them. Let's just do that. It's all happening. And again, I'm not trying to scare you folks because this is already going on. Don't you want to know? You know, there are many cases with what I call Stockholm, mass Stockholm syndrome, where people will be told, hey, there's somebody in the bedroom robbing all your jewelry and everything. And in more and more cases, men and women will sit there and not even call 911 or not even get their gun and defend themselves. They will just sit there and keep watching TV going, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And that's what this is. This is total denial on PCP. This is total maximum denial, total criminal group taken over, stealing everything not nailed down, mashing technology and weapon systems against us, parading up and down arrogantly in an imperious fashion to get us ready for it. And not one dinosaur media, not one kleptocrat media, not one prostitute media, not one Decepticon media, except for one local TV station, and the newspaper reported the police announced yesterday after DrudgeReport.com carried our Infowars.com story on this. Not one national or international outfit covered this. Not one. And that's why they're dying. That's why they're a joke. That's why they're a fraud. That's why they fail. Because this proves that they are state-run media. Because across the board, they will not report on a giant NSA illegal system deliberately hacking and stealing all your data and, and, and grabbing your personal data. Because, you know, they've been sued and lost court cases without warrants grabbing it from the phone companies that they're jacked into. So they're making some in-run around where they just put up systems that just grab your data and signals intelligence. And then it admits, can break into your phone, you name it, and tracks you. And now it's coming out all over the country, these systems have been put in. And now hacking sites, the real media, I've got stacks of it here, are reporting all over the country. They're finding the IP addresses associated with the Seattle uh, DHS Fusion Center with the same prefixes but in different parts of the country. That everywhere there are wireless systems in the hub grabbing everything. Of course they are. They're, I mean, I, I found NSA grids all over the place and went and looked up who it is and and we're going to do a report on it and cops pull up in minutes and say you know what are you doing that's a that's a classified thing because the cop doesn't know that just means it's classified now go drink your fluoride and die give your kids some shots and put a diaper on him when he's 10. shut up cop and go get write some tickets we're replacing you soon with the with the robot cameras giving tickets you idiot now, that's how the establishment really thinks of you. They just pat you on the head and go, drink some more poison, eat some more GMO. Yeah, you kids, you kids can't really talk, can they? 
Yeah, but you could talk, but your kids can't. Everything's fine. I mean, just you walk into a restaurant and just look at the average kids. They look like they're all walking dead, man. We're all walking dead already. And by the time people find out the cancer rate's going to go from 3,000 to 20,000 percent, it's already 10,000 plus percent in children, up 10,000 plus percent. Look it up. By the time everybody figures out they're walking dead, they're going to have the drones, the robots, the kill grids, the, the highway blockers up, and then the cops can all just flop around dying from bio attacks and their stupid threat fusion centers built. This is a technocratic kill grid. You're in a science fiction movie. Grow up and realize it, and realize that the mainstream media is state-run whores who love tyranny and hate their families and will sell out for nothing because they love feeling like they're part of the establishment. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. And uh, every major globalist, from the White House science czar through David Rockefeller to Ted Turner to Prince Philip to Prince Charles to Queen Beatrix, all say on record they want to establish a planetary government to carry out your orderly extermination through a technocratic, uh, technotronic age. And they've been planning this since 1931, officially under the technocratic, technotronic society. That is the modern version of the eugenics movement started in 1854 by Galton and adopted by the royal family in 1862 and then adopted as official U.S. government policy in 1907, adopted by Germany by 1925, adopted by Mexico in 1927, adopted by Italy at the same time. Just look it up. And it's all battle plan. It's all battle plan. But you've got to understand, folks, you're living in a science fiction movie. And we've held some of it back. We've, you know, Hitler was one of their acolytes, but he kind of went after only a few groups and they didn't agree with that. So they kind of let him wreck Europe as a pretext to bring down the old European order. Uh, the Rand Corporation's all public about this. I had Joel Skousen, who's a historian on, breaking down their plan to allow us to have a nuclear war so that a new government could reemerge after the nuclear war. And you go, well, that's madness. Where have I heard of that before? You heard about it from the Bland Corporation in the 1964 film Dr. Strangelove, which is based on real Rand Corporation plans. But it's not Rand Corporation, it's Bland Corporation. And it's all put in satire, ladies and gentlemen. But the point is, these people aren't going to stop. And they use the COG, the continuity of government system, that they've put in place to guard the people. Well, it's the guillotine. It's the takeover. They have a takeover of society to guard society. Do you understand that? And the average, I mean, every TV show you see is at five-year-old propaganda level. That show that Mancal was uh, talking about, uh, The Blacklist, every scene on that show is just in, in the regular office. There's troops standing around with with uh, with M4s and everyone's being searched and, and 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 it's fetishized as the sexy girl gets groped on and you know and then they have rappers coming out promoting how great it is to be groped by the TSA so the sheep sit there literally like idiocracy thinking it's a good idea every cop movie I see every drama I see because I do watch them on the treadmill when I have time literally 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 quite literally, has just random checkpoints. They'll just be driving along in the woods and there won't even be an emergency. They'll be, oh, it's a checkpoint up ahead, just routine. Or you'll be watching a movie uh, like uh, Gravity and they'll just add randomly, yeah, my daughter died playing tag. I'm glad they've banned it.
And, and then I guarantee you, I could go make calls, do the research, find out who the writers were, pull out all the stops and find out that that was government propaganda placement. It's all on record as well. Paid for. I mean, you know, most movies make as much money as they do on downloads and DVDs and Blu-rays. Let's say they make $100 million on that, if it's some $400 million movie to make. In some cases, 100 mil will be product and propaganda placement. Now, I remember some article I saw where The Apprentice TV show, I, I want to say got like 16 million, see if my uh, memory's correct, from like four years ago. Just search Apprentice, got 16 million from Virgin Atlantic or Atlantic Virgin or whatever it's called, the airline. Just to mention it once a night on the show, one mil per episode. One mil per episode. Your tax money goes to have anti-family messages. I mean, once you're aware of this, just sit down and watch television. The Simpsons, anything. It's all savage, and you know the message. Don't have kids. Fathers are bad. Everybody's got cancer. It's cool. Everybody's got HIV. It's cool. Everybody's dying. It's cool. Humans are bad. The, uh, we're hurting the earth. Hate yourself. Be poor. Roll over. Be nihilistic. Don't care. Yeah, that's Bob. He doesn't care if everything's falling apart in his life. And the woman goes, oh, he's super sexy. I love losers. Oh, you do? You love? And then women actually go out and say, I want to find a loser. That's what's cool. And then men think, I'm a loser. That's really cool. And then they walk around all failing, being programmed to fail, being given archetypes to fail. Well, not me. Your psychic tar torpedoes didn't do anything but get me angry and activate all my survival instincts. And we've all got to call upon those that God gave us. And literally, if you tell your brain, give me the combat mode I need to boost my intelligence to fight these people, it'll start happening. Say, I want discernment. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want reality. I'm not afraid. Admit this is going on, and your mind will open up to the battlescape. I don't know how much it'll open up, but it'll certainly open up. Why is nascent iodine so important? Nascent iodine is so important because it goes directly to the thyroid. It's not bonded to a salt, which means it doesn't have to be broken down. And it's the most usable form. It's what the body uses. It's what the body is designed to use. If you have low energy levels, if you have pains, if you have thyroid problems, if you don't feel up to par, well, they've proven now that the fluoride and a lack of iodine causes a decreased IQ because you have all this stuff that builds up inside your system and builds up and builds up. And that's why some people, when they start taking iodine, will have what's called a Hertzheimer reaction or a detoxification reaction. But that's a good sign. That means you're detoxifying all that fluoride buildup, the mercury buildup in there, the bromine buildup in your system, and the chlorine buildup in your system. You don't want those things. All of those things have been proven as carcinogens. That's one of the reasons prostate cancer is on the rise, too, is because prostate takes up iodine. And the men that are lacking iodine causes the prostate to become cystic and causes the prostate to swell and eventually leads to prostate cancer. There's been an extreme rise in polycystic ovarian disease, PCOS, with women. Fibrocystic breast disease, because iodine is stored in the breast tissue, the ovaries, the prostate glands in men. It's utilized by every single cell in the body. Mm, why does this almost taste good compared to other iodine that tastes horrible? That's because it's real iodine atomic form. We wanted something that's going to go straight into the bloodstream and straight into the thyroid gland. We wanted to put it in a vegetable glycerin base. That's a USP kosher certified vegetable glycerin base. And that product is not tested on animals, it's vegan friendly, it's gluten free, it's GMO free. Of all the things I've done, nascent iodine was just absolutely amazing. So we developed with Dr. Group a double strength, low price, InfoWarsLife.com, Survival Shield, the atomic nascent iodine available right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to roll over to the globalist, run up the white flag, get in a ditch, or you stand up against them. There really is no choice, for me at least. We're going to stand, we're going to fight. Humanity's going to make it through this great tyrannical challenge. Every generation goes through some form of tyrannical challenge, but we're facing the biggest that human society's ever seen, but we have the tools of technology that are neutral to use back against the globalist. And if they lose the moral high ground, and if we point out that globalist have hijacked this nation. And if people understand that Obama's just a puppet, 
and that it's offshore banks that are doing this and that this is a takeover and an occupation. We can turn things around, especially if we explain to people that Agenda 21 is the overarching program under UNESCO treaty to bankrupt every industrialized nation, to block development in the third world, to bring in a new political and economic dark age for social engineering towards massive forced population reduction. This whole fake culture of Hollywood and all the pomp and all the rest of it is literally just a surface projection to get the public to basically buy in to the false reality, this, this, this artificial construct. They're artificially trying to insert us into Plato's cave instead of living out in the real open air. And so it's not for us to tell people what to think, it's to simply get them to realize that they have been put into an artificial environment. That's what things like Times Square are, is it's just a total surveillance grid, total bombardment with their messages, overtaking reality, inserting you really into a giant high-tech re-education camp with all of these different icons, all these different artificially created avatars, artificially created archetypes programming your basic human makeup uh, so that you will then accept the matrix they're trying to build. We're not in the matrix yet, but this is the, the beginning of the matrix. As people become zombies and as their IQs lower, as their brain waves lower, and as they don't communicate with friends and family but obsess on their personal Facebooks all day. Instead of even worrying about I know a lot of media folks that focus on their private little Facebooks instead of a big Facebook they have access to. I tend to do the same thing as well. We get, we get focused in on the minute and, and, and the distraction instead of seeing the larger world. And that's what the establishment wants. And so think about the, the, the just over-the-top nature of a giant NSA grid of boxes being put in nationwide, not just Seattle. If they're illegal on record, grabbing all your data without warrants. We expose it. The police say, we're going to stop for now until the city council tells us what to do. But Homeland Security paid to put it in. The, 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 the city council was kept out of the loop on it. It's a total criminal conspiracy. And no media, so-called establishment media, will cover it. And it's not like I care. It's not like we need to be in the mainstream media. I've been in newspapers tens of thousands of times sometimes thousands of times in one story, and it does nothing because no one even reads it or pays attention to it. I've done countless national TV shows. Almost nothing happens unless it was Piers Morgan. That was shown on every major TV network in the world, I'm told. Chinese, Japanese, Russian television, every late night show. That's the only time the mainstream media has any power is because then they can lens everything and basically repeat the same talking point. Now, just like all this massive NSA rollout domestically is not being reported by the state-run media, and that's what it is officially, or that systems like this are being put in public schools and libraries everywhere. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.